Well, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 is continuing to push on that little bit higher, getting closer to the potential res resistance now at 16.969 as we head into the start of the FOMC uh, meetings that are expected to last today and tomorrow. Um, with a slightly dovish stance potentially expected, and you can see slight moves in uh, cable, your dollar, and dollar yen reflecting that more dovish stance. Uh, but the fact is that we could still have you know the lower interest rates in the US for longer is the rhetoric that people are expecting to come out uh, and the US there is slowly grinding on the little higher in the back of that so looking at the UK 100 not such a pretty picture um, we've had a lot of volatility there overnight as you can be seen with this candle and we're still bouncing around 63.90 um, this is pretty not a great technical um, setup candles are kind of showing a lot of uh, you know indifference as to the direction but a lot of extreme volatility 21 period SMA still acting as a potential cap uh, if we continue to get drift and the US 30 the US markets look quite healthy actually versus the um, the Germany 30 in the UK 100 um, but this uh, th this is gonna be problematic so we might have a little bit of pressure on here any break below 6390 opens up 6270 Looking at Japan 225, probably not benefiting from that opposite move in dollar yen as people start buying the yen. And we're actually seeing a little bit of gold buying as well uh, as the market begins to drift off ever so slightly. Japan 225, uh, hitting resistance 15488. Um, that has been in place now for the last four sessions. Uh, but these long legged candles are indicative of the fact that. Um, the Japan 25 has not yet decided which direction it really wants to go, but we do have quite a staunch resistance level there to break through. Um, but that'll be very much guided by what's happening with dollar yen. So dollar yen um, drifting lower towards 107 spot 36. Obviously, double, dovish FOMC is not going to help dollar yen. Um, we still seem to be hugging that 21 period SMA, um, which is definitely providing support right now. You can see in the last three sessions, it's. Um, it has not gone below it um, but as this continues on the trend obviously is for hitting this potential support at 107 spot 36 technicals are relatively neutral we didn't get a crossover of the MACD so we'll just have to wait and see how that one pans out if we actually look at the economic data uh, remember there's not really a huge amount of exciting stuff happening until um, well until tonight and then you've got the, um, the other data coming on Wednesday. Uh, we do have uh, CCI data coming out at 2 p.m. UK time, and we do have some durable goods orders from the US as well. Um, fast forwarding on to, on to Wednesday there, um, not a huge amount, uh, apart from obviously the end of the FOMC. And then Thursday, we've got our UK nationwide um, house price index, and we've got GDP and jobless claims, which will be a bit more of a catalyst. So switching on to um, crude oil West Texas, obviously Goldman's um, rate cut on crude and uh, the lack of demand is uh, or kind of glut of supply uh, is really hurting West Texas crude. We actually broke below $80 yesterday. Um, we ended up slightly higher on the day, but uh, the pressure is still on, uh, still looking at $77 as a potential uh, support, 77 spot 40. Gold still kind of unexciting, but at least we're having a little bit of positive territory today. Again, bouncing off that 21 period SMA. Trading between two ranges at 12.18 and 12.41. Not really much to report right there. I don't think many people uh, will be looking at gold at this stage. Um, your dollar and cable. Um, your dollar had a little bit of a bounce yesterday. Also trading between two ranges. Um, the dovishness on the, on the US dollar needs to be put to rest or uh, ramified by the FOMC tonight. But we are in the middle of two ranges, one spot 27.46 and one 26.61. Uh, finishing up with cable, um, cable moving slightly higher. Uh, again, I, this probably looks like a consolidated area there between these couple of ranges, pretty much this area. We'll see a little bit of curvature across there, but one spot 1609 remains potential support. Um, trend is, is grinding higher. That's the same for your dollar and, and cable. And that gives you a bit of a flavor of what to expect. So again, uh, a, a decent amount of fundamentals actually due out. If you take into consideration what we've got here on Tuesday and the fact the FOMC starts tonight, ends tomorrow. So we'll have a bit more of an eye, the clear idea about US interest rates and uh, what's gonna be happening with the US dollar next. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your layer and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.